Hello. Um, this is the vintage Fisherman doll, okay, and it is um, designed with a person in mind, okay, so somebody that I know that likes, he's into vintage fishing, all right, so um, uh, this is a guy called Peter, all right, so uh, he's got his brown boots, um, socks because they didn't have like waders in the olden days or wellies, so he has, he has socks, brown boots, um, his bag, bag down in Moss Street. He's got a little, I suppose fishermen maybe were a bit posh and he had his waistcoat, um, shirt and tie on. All right, and I put some buttons, they're just beads for his waistcoat buttons. I've sewed the jacket in sort of there and there, okay, when I was attaching the jacket, so that his waistcoat, when, or so that whenever his jacket flies open, his waistcoat, you can see, all right, so, um, and then he's got um, his fishing rod and, let me see, um, his little fish, all right. Now, I made a couple of wee um, salmon fly mini brooches because it's one of my hobbies and I make flies. So I tied them on to mini, mini gold pins, all right, and this one I put into the, the, um, the guy's fish right but you can equally have it in his hair or you know anywhere you fancy so a little gold mini pin i know everybody can't make flies but you could use a little mini pin and maybe just put some colored wool on it but it, it just gives it another dimension all right so he's got his little fish and his glasses now his glasses i made i i got um Two round jewellery rings, you know, um, I think they were 15 millimetres across, these ones, all right. And um, using like a, um, a buttonhole stitch, you know, um, a blanket stitch, I covered the, the rings first and I left this tag on, which I was able to sew across the ear. And I'm showing in the pattern where I put the, before I sewed the eyes on, because you have to have the eyes in the right place if you're putting glasses on, I put wooden pins in. It shows you pictures and the patterns. So I put the two, made the two lenses. I didn't join them here yet. I made the two lenses and I stitched them behind the ears. All right. And then I used wooden pins to put where I wanted to do the eyes. And then I, I took the glasses back, I stitched in the eyes. Um, and then I brought them back again and I just stitched across the bridge of the nose. Um, so that made the glasses. I think the glasses worked quite well, you know. Um, you can buy, of course, glasses, but I have a difficulty getting glasses for this size at all. This doll is eight and a half inches, so I've had difficulty finding suitable glasses for this wee guy. Um, of course, the old-fashioned fisherman doesn't have a baseball cap or whatever. Um, there is a pattern. On, on the pattern, there is... Um, you can do the paddy hat, you know, but this guy has a flat cap, so he's got a flat cap, and it's all knit um, to look like tweed, you know, as if he's wearing a tweed suit. When I put the jacket on, all I did was, um, when I stitched it down each side of the waistcoat, and I folded back and just stitched that to look like as if he had a, a lapel, so I think he works quite well, I quite like him. Um, like all my dolls. Um, so you can find this pattern on my website www.ecdesigns.co.uk um, and he's lovely and if anybody does knit him I've sold a couple of patterns one to um, Tasmania and one to England so I'm looking forward to seeing that so I can put them on the website and people email me the patterns okay so he's a really nice little guy a fisher guy, All right? Bye.